everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a really fun video and kind of just walk you through this layout that I did, which is a spring bucket list. I am just so excited for spring and I think it's quickly becoming one of my favorite seasons because I just love seeing how the world comes back to life after winter and I really just hate the cold so I'm excited for some warm weather and to do some things outdoors. And every year there are certain things that I just really love to do in the spring but I feel like the season goes by so quickly that I wanted to make a bucket list for all of these things just to make sure I'm planning well and getting in all the things that are important to me. So the first thing on my list is strawberry picking which is just a classic spring activity if you've never done this before you really have to go find a farm for you to do this because there is nothing quite like a fresh farm picked strawberry so much sweeter than what you can get in the store the next thing on my list is to go on a hike and again this is more motivation to get outdoors now that the weather is starting to warm up and one of my goals for April is just to spend more time outside. So this will be a great thing for my bucket list to make sure I get out there and get some exercise. I live near DC, so I'm actually pretty lucky to be very close to the DC cherry blossoms and I get to watch them bloom every year, which is really such a beautiful sight. So I'm putting this on my bucket list this year because I just wanna go and make sure I take photos of those beautiful cherry blossoms because they're so short-lived and beautiful and every time I go to see them, it just really makes me believe that spring is here. The next thing on my list is to go visit a farm and pet the animals. This is something that I personally love to do. I just love going and looking at farms and seeing how our food is produced. But this is also a great activity even if you're not really interested in that side of things because there will probably be animals for you to check out, which is always a fun thing to do, especially if you have kids or if you want to go and do this with your friends. The next two things on my bucket list are to sit outside at a cafe and to read on the balcony. These are two things I wanted to include just to remind myself to have a little bit of alone time and quiet time just because this is a season where I'm constantly wanting to do things and you might be the same way. You might want to just pack your schedule with activities and events but it's just as important to have relaxation time and alone time as well just to have a little bit of self-care in your schedule. The next thing on my list is to go on a photo walk in the neighborhood and this is something I've already done so here are some clips from that and I'll show you how I keep track of the things that I've already done on my bucket list in a little bit. I love that this is something you can do more than once because there's always going to be something new blooming and something new to look at. Then my last thing on my bucket list is to go on a picnic with my girlfriends. This is just another classic spring activity that I think is fun to include and to remind myself to spend time with the people who are important to me. I'm just adding in some quick decorations around here, scattering some butterflies and adding some dashed lines to look like they're flying trails. And then I'm going to go ahead and color in a couple of these things on my bucket list because I've already done them. So in order to keep track of the things that are finished, I'm going to be coloring them in once they're done. So if I haven't done it yet, it's just going to be this black and white illustration that you see here. Um, but once it's done, it's going to be a colored little image. It kind of looks like a button and I just think it's a really fun and colorful way to keep track of the things that you're doing throughout the season. So the markers I'm using here are Crayola Super Tip markers and I've also used one Tombow pen for brush lettering the title but I'm also using the Crayola markers for all of the coloring. I like these markers because there are so many colors in a pack and they're super affordable and they don't bleed through my paper too badly even though the papers on my journal are a little bit on the thin side. I usually have some ghosting but these markers really are not a problem with that. So the two things I've already done are to read on my balcony and to go on a photo walk so you can see how I've just filled those in there and how it just really transforms these two images and I'm really excited to see how this page looks once everything is colored in. I think it's going to look really cute and fun. 
So that's it for my spring bucket list. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that's on your spring bucket list that you think is a must-do thing for the season. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today and watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it inspired you to create a bucket list of your own. And make sure to tag me on Instagram if you recreate this page. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.